Hey guys, what's going on? Steven here. So I just picked up this GeForce RTX 2080 Ti along with the Fantex Glacier water block for it. So we're going to go ahead, unbox this graphics card and get this water block installed. Alright, so we got the card out of the box and the anti-static bag. It's a three fan design. Uh, there's some little bit of lighting effects around the card. This is a, a 2.7 slot card, so takes up three slots. Nice back plate on it, and it's got a pretty beefy cooler on it. But uh, I ain't going to be using the cooler. I'm going to be putting the water block on. So grab some Phillips screwdrivers here, and there's just uh, some small Phillips heads on the back and go ahead and start getting it taken apart. So when taking these cards apart, uh, be mindful some of these screws, they do have springs on them. Uh, just be careful, they can go uh, springing away, flying away from you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get these two plugs in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of twist at the cooler not going to yank on it because I don't want to rip anything and uh, twisting it kind of gets that bond with the thermal pads and the thermal paste uh, broke in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and there's some more uh, Phillips screws in here where this, uh, this is like a little brace. This also does have uh, thermal pads where this little brace is too. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some more screws and the back plate will come off. Again, don't yank at the back plate. There is a plug back there, as you can see. And that's for the little uh, RGB that's on the ASUS uh, little eye logo. So just get that unplugged. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of twist back and forth to get that little um, brace taken off. And uh, I'm laying down the static, uh, the static bag because that PCB is going to be on the table. So just be careful when uh, taking these GPUs apart. The thermal pads on here, they're kind of um, a little bit, they, they, they just fall apart kind of when uh, taking them off. The only one that's re actually reusable is the one that's left on the uh, cooler there, that yellow one. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these pads here off and uh, clean it up a little bit. And uh, here's a close-up shot. This is uh, a lot different than a reference design PCB. So if you're thinking about ordering a block, um, link is in the description for the one that I bought. They do have two different designs. They have a black and a silver. But uh, it's just a close-up of what the uh, custom PCB looks like. So the nice thing about this kit is the uh, thermal pads that it comes with. They're uh, nice and thin. They feel really great quality. Unlike the uh, Alpha Cool one that I installed on that Gigabyte block, uh, these ones are labeled very, very nicely. Very straightforward, easy to install. Um, and yeah, like I said, the, the thermal pads that it comes with are uh, very, very nice. So I'll get a little close up here. Um, that's how it should look uh, with all the thermal pads laid out. And uh, I'll get a little closer here so you can see exactly how it needs to, uh, how the thermal pads need to be on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I have the back plate, uh, the stock back plate, uh, put on back underneath the card and I'm going to use the screws that I took out before where the brace uh, was. There's 13 screws and I'm going to go ahead and put those back on and that retains the stock back plate. Uh, make sure it's plugged back in because it does have that little RGB eye on the back. Uh, plug it back in and uses the uh, stock back plate.
So I'm gonna go ahead and use some uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I uh, really, really like that stuff. I've been using it for quite a long time. Just gonna use a little spreader here and make sure I have the uh, full dye covered with uh, thermal paste. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay the water block on here now. Sorry, my head keeps getting in the way. But right there where my thumb is at the top left there, there's a little standoff. As long as you line that up, the water block will fall right into place. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it together here and flip it over. I uh, have to lay it at the edge of the table or something because if not, um, that bracket gets in the way and it'll pop the block back off there. So I'm gonna mount this just like I would a GPU with screws at either ends of the corners and I'm gonna apply even pressure with the screws and get all four of those screws around that die evenly pressured. And then I'm gonna put the other three screws in so there's a total of seven screws that have to go um, on the block that hold the block onto this card. And then there is one more screw on the front bracket there that does have to go back in. So I'll go ahead and get that screw back in there. And we are done. So this combination is very heavy. So if you're gonna be mounting the card in a horizontal position, the standard way, I highly recommend a GPU bracket um, because it is very heavy, you will get a lot of sag. I'm using the Fantex vertical GPU mount, uh, so no problems there. So now let's go ahead and peel that plastic off. All right, so I've got the card now installed in my PC. Uh, after bending some tubing, it was really easy, straightforward. Uh, the block was extremely easy to install. Uh, the only little problem that I had uh, was I had a little bit of uh, air pocket there. I still have a little bit of uh, bubbles in there, little air bubbles. Uh, of course, you know, tilting the PC around and everything will get rid of those. Uh, so I gotta do that a little more. But uh, otherwise, temperatures are great. So uh, there's the uh, temp there. Uh, right now idling around 32 degrees Celsius. And uh, I'll go ahead and start a benchmark here so you can see what the temperatures are. So as you can see, the temps are really, really good. Um, running really good. Uh, if you guys see in my previous video where I had the Gigabyte, the RTX 2080 Ti, um, I had to send that back. Uh, yeah, I was out a little bit of money because of the water block. That thing went out after two days. Uh, not sure what was going on with it. Um, anytime I would open up like MSI Afterburner or the software for it, uh, I would just get a bunch of artifacts and my computer would freeze. Uh, don't know what was going on with it and I was not very happy with Gigabyte, with a Gigabyte card. Um, so I, I won't be buying Gigabyte stuff anymore. I'm really happy with this. This is the GPU that I've actually wanted. Um, so, you know, after ordering it, I was supposed to wait two weeks before I was gonna get it and it showed up two days later which was awesome and I got a really good price on it so I'm super happy with that. I do know that you know the RTX 30 series are coming out soon but uh, I think that this card will um, serve me well for a couple of years and uh, I'll put a little card up here if you guys have seen I do game on a 32 inch um, 4k monitor the BenQ EW3280U I did uh, fire up The Witcher 3 and have everything on ultra and I'm getting a steady 60 plus FPS. That's because my monitor is only 60 Hertz. So, uh, you know, I'll only, it'll only go up to 60 FPS. 
but uh, super happy with this card. The uh, block install was, you know, real straightforward and uh, it's a very, very nice block. Uh, couldn't be happier with it and how the PCs turned out. So now I've just got to kind of figure out what uh, I'm going to upgrade next and uh, or what I'm going to do next. I am in the process of building a new desk so uh, I might do a video of that but uh, yeah guys there it is if you guys have any comments questions anything like that if you need any help or anything uh, please feel free to leave any comments down below and I will uh, get back to you right away and uh, thanks for stopping by guys I will uh, catch you next time take care